and I like to combine the traditional meaning of the Rider Waite deck and with the Dream Virtue deck. So we'll kind of do a combo of both to see what comes up for you. In this deck, um, instead of you being a Queen of Wands, you're a Queen of Fire. The signs are Earth, Air, Fire, and Water. So I will get you to a little bit bigger to break those into three piles. Okay. A little bit more of a handful here, but okay. So I'm looking for the fire signs for the reddish brown cards. So there you are. Okay. Let me use that half of the deck. Okay. So I just do a pyramid spread, so I just do two cards and then three, four, five in the next rows. So the Eight of Water can mean uh, searching for something meaningful, can also mean spiritual and emotional growth, okay, so growing. Now the King of Earth, that can be like a King of Pentacles, that can refer to a father figure, okay, can also represent somebody that's a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And in Doreen's cards, this means a successful time, confidently accept opportunities you're offered, like having the Midas touch, whatever you touch kind of turns to gold. And the Six of Air, this is all about things are looking up, the end of a difficult situation, it could be possibly taking a trip. Now the Chariot, that came up in one of your other spreads, that's about you being in control, or it can also mean going on a car trip, just as this other card suggested. So it's an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. Okay, but that card has come up for you a second time. Now the Five of Fires, like the Five of Wands in the other deck, this says competing goals. It can mean bother, bothersome details or conflict with others. Okay, but you're starting to get your fire cards coming up, which refer to career. Okay, so it says, um, and this card you have that in your last spread. It was the the guy holding all the sticks in his hand. So that's about working hard. Here it says too much work. Accept help from others. Life is out of, out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. So it's okay to ask for help. You know. And that could also refer to you asking for help, putting it out there, you know, looking for work. I know some people do that on Facebook or wherever. You never know where a connection might happen. Okay, and you've had that card before too, the lovers. So that's about intimate relationships um, and can also refer to good health. Now the Eight of Earth, those are the money cards. It says, skilled work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic and can also possibly mean going back to school. Okay. And here we have strength, and this is all about Archangel Ariel. So it's great inner strength, release harsh judgments, and forgiveness and compassion. So have forgiveness and compassion for others. I notice that you've got a lot. There's cards that have suits, like the Earth, Air, Fire, and Water. But you also have some cards coming up. These are the more fated events. When you see you've had so far three cards that are more fate based okay they don't have a suit they are called the major arcana so here we have the empress so it says lavish abundance give birth to your dreams nurture yourself and others okay and that card in the traditional deck can refer to fertility so growth and um, opportunities and that can also mean for some people um, if they're not wanting to be a mom, make sure you take precautions so you don't become a mom. Okay? Uh, the Emperor, right beside the Empress. So it's all about organization and logic, structure and discipline, and leadership. So this can also refer to a wise, mature man. So perhaps you're going to be looking for advice from someone that can help you with your job situation. And the Sun, that is one of the two best cards to have in the deck. I'd be very happy if I had that in my, my spread. It says, happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. In the traditional deck, that means health, wealth, abundance, prosperity. So, and Here we have the wheel. That's the second time. Before you had it upside down saying your luck was going to change. This one is the wheel. also refers to Archangel Michael. It says, a time of positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. And your last card is the Six of Earth, which is six, six of Pentacles. It's gifts of money, time, and effort, or effort. New career opportunities and receiving a loan or paying off debts. So 
I see you've got a few money cards, you've got a balance of a few career cards, but definitely you have you've got one, two, three, four, five, six fate based cards. So I just see very positive and I'd be focusing on um, this can also the Empress card can refer to you being settled in your nest, um, having a strong group of females around you. This can also these two can refer to you being a part of a couple. But I also see that perhaps somebody's going to help you with your work. You've got the Sun card, good fortune, and money. So I would uh, put it out there to the universe and um, see what comes up for you. So hopefully you enjoyed today's reading, mm -hmm. and uh, I hope to see you soon. Okay.